Hey parents, attachment science tells us that how secure a child is feeling is the number one factor in how they behave, the quality of their relationships, and whether or not they grow into their greatest potential in life. But what is secure attachment? And how do we help children to become as secure as possible before we send them off into the world? In this video, I'm gonna give you a clear explanation of what secure attachment is by introducing you to what I call the 10 C's of attachment, 10 factors based on the psychological literature that contribute to secure attachment in kids. My name is Todd Sarner. I'm a psychotherapist and parenting coach, and my mission is to help you have the family life that you want and to raise children who thrive. What is secure attachment? Imagine a child eyes gleaming with curiosity, confidently exploring their world. They know deep down that no matter what adventure unfolds, a safe haven awaits them in the form of a loving caregiver. This is the essence of secure attachment. And it's more than just love. It's like a bedrock of trust built brick by brick through consistent care and responsiveness. This foundation allows children to blossom, independent yet connected, secure in themselves, and ready for meaningful relationships. Think of it as though every child has a sort of cup of attachment inside that needs to be filled with positive experiences over time. Each hug, each shared laugh, each timely comfort adds a drop, gradually forming a secure base of attachment over time. But life isn't always sunshine and rainbows as we all know, and sometimes challenges can have the effect of draining that reservoir, leaving children feeling insecure and needing some extra love and care. But here's the beauty, repair is always possible. Just like a crack in a beloved mug, the bond can be mended with patience, understanding, and a whole lot of love. And remember, perfect parenting is impossible. Doing your best, coupled with the willingness to mend things when necessary, is the main thing it takes to nurture secure attachment in your children. Now that I've given you a sense of what secure attachment is about, let's discuss those 10 factors found in the psychological literature that are shown to produce secure attachment in children. And keep in mind, this is not a list of things that you need to memorize or do perfectly. My goal here is to inspire you by naming feelings and experiences that you can strive for and that you can work towards. The first C of creating secure attachment in kids is connection, being connected in a sensitive and responsive way. Parents who strive to attune to their child's needs and accurately interpret and address distress are promoting trust and comfort in the child. In the literature, they call this signal and response. A child will send signals your way to let you know that they need something or that something is upsetting them. Your job as a parent is to respond to these signals in a timely and an attuned way. Timely means that you respond to your child's signal in a time appropriate matter. This doesn't always mean fast. It means that you're responding in a way that matches how urgent you interpret the need to be. And attuned means that your response is lined up with what the child's need is. If they're feeling sad, you might give them a really big hug. If they're feeling insecure in themselves, you might reassure them in a way that they really feel. The second C of creating secure attachment in kids is care. Care in the form of warmth and nurturance. Caregivers who express affection and warmth, both physically and emotionally, build strong bonds with their children. Sometimes this is as simple as expressing affection. Cuddles, kisses, holding hands, saying things like I love you and you're amazing, and offering encouraging words when needed. Other times this can mean being playful and silly, engaging in fun activities like games and tickles and laughter, builds positive memories and strengthens the bond. Day-to-day -day focus on meeting your child's basic needs with care and patience. Doing this with gentle tenderness can go a long way in establishing a foundation of trust and comfort. And care also means empathizing with their feelings and validating their emotions. Listen to your child's concerns, acknowledging their feelings and providing comfort because this helps them navigate their emotions and understand themselves better. The third C of creating secure attachment in kids is positive communication. Clear, consistent, and positive communication fosters trust and understanding between parent and child. This includes avoiding harsh language and focusing on solutions instead of blame. Positive communication also means active listening and empathy. You can practice this by taking time to just give your child your full attention, making eye contact and showing understanding. Showing empathy to their feelings fosters emotional intelligence. 
Positive communication also involves positive reinforcement and encouragement of their good behaviors and efforts. Encourage your children, especially during challenges, to build their self-esteem and resilience, but focus on their efforts and who they are, not on the outcomes of what they do. And try to engage children with open-ended questions at times to encourage thoughtful responses and to develop their language and thinking skills. Include them in family discussions when appropriate, respecting their opinions to boost their confidence and social skills. The fourth C of creating secure attachment in kids is comfort. Securely attached children have caregivers who are emotionally and physically available when needed. They feel confident that their caregiver will be there when they reach out. By being physically present and available as much as possible, you are reassuring your child that they can depend on you for support and for security. And you can demonstrate emotional availability by responding to your child's feelings and needs. Active engagement in their emotional experiences builds trust and a deep sense of security. Don't focus on being perfect, but being as predictable as possible. Ensure your child knows that they can rely on you. Being predictable in your support helps your child feel confident and secure in reaching out to you in times of need. The fifth C of creating secure attachment in kids is confidence. Securely attached children are encouraged to explore their surroundings and develop gradual independence within safe boundaries. Actively encouraging your children to explore their environment and try new things fosters creativity and individuation while they know at the same time that you're there for now as a safety net. Try to provide a safe and supportive space for your children to take healthy risks. Balancing freedom and safety helps them learn from experiences and build their sense of self-reliance gradually and confidently. When possible, offer your children guidance and support rather than direct control as they navigate new experiences. This approach can have the power of boosting their confidence and their abilities to make better decisions. When possible, offer your children's guidance and support rather than direct control as they navigate new experiences. This approach can have the power of boosting their confidence and their ability to make better decisions. Before we get to the next five C's, I'd like to encourage you to make a commitment to growing your confidence as a parent by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. C number six in creating secure attachment in kids is co-regulation. Regulation is learning how to manage those inner storms of emotions and navigate life's waves with calm and confidence. Co-regulation in this case is how parents can help their children to do this until they know how to do it themselves. Parents work on this by helping their children understand and manage their emotions through open communication, validation, and coping strategies that contribute to secure attachment. Open communication means creating space for your kids to talk it out and share their feelings no matter what they are. Listen without judgment or fixing things. Just be there for them. Being able to get out all those thoughts and words and emotions can really go a long way. Co-regulation isn't just about calming down, it's about building tools. Find openings over time to help your children understand their emotions and teach them calming techniques like taking a deep breath and counting to 10. These become instruments in their emotional toolbox, empowering them to manage future storms with increasing independence. Remember, you're not just weathering the waves together, you're teaching them to surf. The seventh C of creating secure attachment in kids is collaborative play. Engaging in playful interactions and shared activities is a cornerstone of child development and of emotional intelligence. Create opportunities for regular play sessions with your children, incorporating games or singing or storytelling or any other creative activity. This shared fun fosters a strong emotional connection. Engage in activities that require collaboration and interaction, such as building projects or cooperative games. This not only enhances bonding, but also teaches valuable social and teamwork skills. And support and participate in creative pursuits like drawing or crafting or making music. These activities not only strengthen secure attachment, but also encourage your child's creativity and emotional expression. The eighth C of creating secure attachment in kids is clear boundaries. Having firm and clear but loving and empathetic boundaries with children is an important part of helping them understand acceptable behavior and to feel secure within the guidelines set by you. Frustration is always gonna be part of life. 
When these frustrations build up in your children, they can lead to feeling unsafe and also lead to symptoms such as being aggressive or becoming depressed. When feelings of frustration are getting to a high level inside, children will often push us with their behavior, getting demanding or edgy or having a tantrum. This is exactly when we need to set limits with them and it's for their benefit. Some parents resist setting limits with their kids because they don't wanna be mean. Other parents get really angry and forceful with setting limits, and this can be harmful to your relationship with them. Recognize the times where your child's frustration is getting high, and know that setting those firm but loving limits so that they can feel their feelings and get them out is exactly what they need and is a big part of secure attachment. The ninth C of creating secure attachment in kids is consistency. Consistency that is found in having predictability and structure. Establishing routines and rituals creates a sense of stability and knowing, which makes children feel secure and less anxious. Knowing what comes next in the day, breakfast after waking, playtime after chores, a story before bedtime, offers a comforting sense of control in a child's life. It helps melt away the fear of the unknown, letting your child focus their energy on exploring and learning. These routines become safe harbors stepping stones across the river of daily life, giving them the confidence to venture out and know that they can always return to familiar ground. But this doesn't mean that you have to have a rigidly structured day. You should always allow for some flexibility. This allows children to adapt to changes and understand that while routines are important, they can also adapt to new situations. And keep in mind that consistency and structure is especially important when it comes to times of transition in your day. These are the times where children are more likely to be disoriented and to misbehave because they just don't know clearly what's going on. Our 10th and final C of creating secure attachment in kids is a calm caregiver. Parents who prioritize their own mental and emotional well-being are better equipped to nurture secure attachment in their children. Regularly engage in self-care activities that rejuvenate your mental and emotional health. This self-care enables you to be more present, more patient, and more effective in your role as a caregiver and as the source of security for your kids. And take time to reflect on your parenting approach and behaviors. This self-reflection can help you in identifying areas for improvement and for adapting strategies that best support your children's needs. And this one is connected to co-regulation. By managing your own emotions and being calm, especially in stressful situations, you provide a model for your children on how to handle emotions effectively. That's our video for today. I hope this is one that you consider watching multiple times. I bet that you'll pick up something new each time. Please leave your comments and questions below. I love hearing what you think and I love hearing your suggestions for new videos. And be sure to check out the description area below where I've left links for several videos we've done that expand on concepts that I've shared with you today. Our parents the parenting quote for today is by Dr. Laura Markham, the founder of AHA Parenting, who said, Secure attachment is the ultimate gift a parent can give a child. It's the foundation for lifelong well-being and the key to unlocking a child's full potential. That is absolutely true in my experience. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.